gonna have a look at this shrub here today. And you can see that hanging below the branch, there's a little urn-shaped flower. And above the branch, we have some flowers that have fallen away, and all you can see left is a few of the floral parts remaining. Here's a close-up of the little urn-shaped flower. So you can see they're kind of dangling down underneath the leaves. The leaves themselves are kind of held in these little whorl-like clusters towards the ends of the branches. And they go from being thinner at the base to narrower at the tip. They're often described as being bluish green in color. And, let me give it a minute here. Can you see at the very tip, they're quite hairy and the little mid vein actually extends beyond the edge of the leaf margin. See that, that little extra bit? So they're quite hairy, almost bluish in color. And their habit is, we step back and look, the leaves themselves are held in a fairly flat plane and they almost seem to hover above the forest floor. So if we look over here, on this stump, there's a big majestic version of it. So there it is, hovering above the forest floor. So what we're looking at is a false azalea, also known as Menzesia pharyngenia. And it gets its name uh, from being like an azalea. So if you're a gardener and you've ever grown azaleas or rhodos, you'll notice they often have this kind of whorled leaf arrangement towards the, the ends of the branches. But this is not an azalea. As we started by looking at the flower, the flower was not an azalea flower, it's a, a heath or heather type flower. And uh, so yes, it's a false azalea. So not related, just similar looking leaves. But um, yeah, they're a fairly common understory shrub in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, but, you know, oftentimes when people run into them, they're, they don't know what they are. So they seem like they're a little bit um, more obscure, not, not as common as some of the other shrubs like huckleberry and salal. But they're quite pretty this time of year. We're in June right now and the flowers are blooming.